and just gone by you her strength of a woman by shaggy and it is tied into our conversation today are we downplaying the strength of women when it comes to sexual harassment rape and victimization especially when it comes to religion as well because quite recently even in nigeria so there was a very popular musician whose wife accused one of their biggest pastors of raping her some years back. And this became a whole controversy. Quite recently, um, we found out that the case had been, I think, nullified or something like that. And so they are still fighting to get the pastor um, to pay for what they claim are his sins. And a lot of people came out and said, well, he's my pastor. I'm not going to allow you to speak down on a man of God, touching us my anointed. And so that's one part of religion and how it plays a role in encouraging rape culture in our system. The fact that we revere um, you know, religious people so much that whatever they do, in the dark, stays in the dark, and we are not allowed to talk about it. We are not allowed to penalize them for whatever wrong they may have committed. Now, aside that as well, the usual, fama nyame, and so we are so religious that we let everything go, and we tend to forgive people even if the wrong thing has been done. And so we'll be discussing that at length with our two marriage and relationship coaches in the studio. So we have Counselor Lutrot here, and, well... Mr. Daniels is here as well. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. You? I'm well. I wish I had a lady, you know, to be part of this conversation. But I'll speak on behalf, though, mm -hmm, of the women, should. by the way. But is religion encouraging... Councillor, what's your problem? So the way you hit your chest and say, I'll speak on behalf of women, is it like speaking from experience or what you hear say? No, but both. You've not been raped before? Never. Don't use never. No, I'm saying never because I'm speaking into my future. God ah, forbid. Oh, the key can be you. God forbid. Whoa. Okay, so focus here, counselor. Um, I yeah. like that. Never. So, <laughs> okay, does kidding. religion encourage rape culture in this society? Well, let, let me say a cherish good morning to descending viewers. You see, when you ask the question in that angle, that does it encourage? I would say yes. Why? Because of the Fama Nyame syndrome. Mm. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Because the former Nyami thing comes up where we tell you an, an assault has been, you know, an assault has happened. Mm -hmm. Because rape is a sexual assault. Yeah. Once somebody has taken what you have as your right, I'm not talking about governmental right, I'm talking about godly right. The, the, the excitement doing the act of sexual intercourse is a gift from God. Because the anatomy of, of a woman and the anatomy of a man are not the same. Even though a woman is carrying 8,000 nerves in her clit, whilst a man is carrying 16,000 in a, in a cup of a male organ. We are not the same though. But if you check the nerves within the, the vulva, the, the, the reproductive wall of a woman, for it to be activated to enjoy the act, you can see that God really gifted them in creation. So with that gift that God gave them for uh, descending very good sexual intercourse, when you take it from them, you have violated their right. Not governmental right, not cultural right, which you have, not the laws you have made. I'm talking about godly thing because that which is in you that produces the histogen is a gift from God. So I'm saying we are encouraging because this thing that God has given us, it must be used in the right way. Scientists, All of a sudden. Scientists will not agree with you when you say it's a gift from God. Because for them, they'll say that it is science. No, no, no. But who started science? No, but scientists don't. No, who, don't, they the don't first credit, scientist, the uh -huh. first scientist is God. But they don't, you see, they don't credit God. No, for, for them that. not so crediting. Saying, but anyway, you Yeah, for on. them not crediting doesn't change what the fact is. Mm. What they are saying is that they believe that it just came boom from him from him. No, it's not but, scientific. They have some scientific I mean, within so I'm also using my I'm also a scientist. I'm also telling them that after me to going deep, I realized that this thing we are talking about and making tuna and eating from it, somebody brought it to him. Mm. And he has a way he did the chemistry so much to the fact that when you touch blah blah blah, he knows this knob will bring this up. Yeah. So once you violate somebody, assault the person without giving the person that right. All right, now. I made a statement some time ago. Any man who penetrates a woman, whilst the woman is not lubricated, will go to hell. People didn't get it. Your likelihood of losing heaven for penetrating a woman violently like that. So the rape you are who talking about. That? I'm telling you. Okay. Because of what I see as a gift. Okay. And there's a process that a woman must release the histogen so there's lubrication for penetration. So once you violate it. But religion uh, says that acts for forgiveness. 
yeah. and that's what I'm saying that the former Nyami is why the church or religion should be blamed. Mm. And the religion is that once he's a pastor and he's a servant of God, what he did. Now, let me tell you, one of the things, there's nothing called sexual sin in the Bible. Mm. There's no there sin is? like that. No, no. Christians don't sin in the first place. Wait, what's fornication and adultery? Isn't fornication that... is sin against your own body. Okay. And adultery? That's you. Adult oh, what is adultery? No, you're saying sexual sin. Are they all not sexual? No, they're not. They're not sin. You see, anybody who has said Christ doesn't sin anymore. They, they only create errors. So you don't sin anymore. So that particular mind and that particular bond of scripture is what holds the priesthood. Number two, the priesthood looks to be untouchable. And we believe that once you are following, mm -hmm. any error that happens to you, if we don't take good care of you, it will affect the brand, yeah. which is the church. And based on this, a lot of people have hidden behind this and has caused this. But once you are breaking the legal, uh, a, a, a natural law of God, you should be punished. Mm -hmm. You understand? Regardless but most of the time, because of his position, the family believes that, Charlie, after then or year, why one Hospital crown run it, see I we now pet then. But that is totally we did wrong. Then, Abinia. That's totally wrong. As for the wrong, I wish we get another word apart from wrong. Mm. You understand? And there are victims today who have gone through this process and they've shut up and rather they are saying things that are not supposed to be said by them. So okay. for a pastor and the painful one are pastors. If a politician yeah. rape you. It's not painful like when a pastor does it because you are looking at him. Well, everybody who rapes, it should be painful. Oh, no, no. But when a pastor rapes you, for where I sit in my office, because a religious person, and the person understands the gift of God, mm -hmm. he understands and you go to him with that sanctimonious. If a doctor rapes you, it's normal. If a Ghanaian doctor rapes you, it's not anything. It's still criminal. No, I, I, I get you. I, I, I'm, I'm just, just saying. telling you why. But a religious one, no. About her because he's broken. He wants to see God. I want to feel the presence of God. I, even as a fetish priest, I want to see the power you have. And it's not only pastors who do this. Yeah. There are fetish priests in communities. Yeah. That are raping guests in the name of shrine. Is that is that why, Kelly, let me bring you into this conversation. Because is that why, and we're not limiting it to Christianity, but we've seen... A lot of things happening in Christianity, in churches, where a pastor says, come, let me pray for you. And then he's, you know, fondling your breast, trying to touch other parts of you. There was this video that we made fun of, but it was a serious one. Power enter. I don't know if you ever saw that video mm -hmm. of a pastor having sex with a woman. So he says power whilst he penetrates and the woman says enter. So that was his way of healing her from whatever disease that it was. Now, we've gotten to a point where we've, we've become so accepting of what happens in the church as well it is god's thing so let's keep it sacred even if it is sexual promiscuity and a that's country. what is encouraging a country mm. what do you make of it i think that what is most important to me in my heart right now is what we are doing to people caught because we can have another discussion again right now and achieve nothing. Mm -hmm. So my point is, what are the sanctions put in place and how effective are these sanctions? Because people's, by the way, no sanction can genuinely heal a woman who has been raped. Mm. But then it, it sends a signal out to society to say, we don't do this here. This is not permitted and we can't, we can't keep allowing this to go on. So, number one, my, my, my greatest heart desire is to find what laws are applicable to these issues and how do we execute them. The second one which, 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 which breaks my heart the most, uh, sorry about the unmarried people that they rape and all of that, mm. I know. But the one that's on my heart right now are wives that are constantly raped by their husbands who are pastors no who are pastors who don't see a need to speak because they say after all i'm married to him and um, if i talk they are going to be right. like ah but he's you are, he, you are yeah. the other wife yeah how can a husband and rape say you? That's his, his right exactly. exactly and his but how did he um carry out his his rights was it mutual do you know that when even a wife tells a husband not now he should respect that Mm. Because you may not see, sex is not between the legs. Sex is in the head. And until the head is right, 
the organs cannot function in a, in a certain capacity. So I think that we have failed in finding proper sanctions for proper um, from proper investigations and executing these sanctions. Many cases of um, shame, name and shame, go out there. But it dies there at name and shame. Not to catch into your conversation, uh, into your submission, but... Again, I'm not limiting it to Christianity, but right. just no, no, no. It, talking it goes... about wives and husbands and how you can say, right. I'm not right. ready. Right. Now, religion here and Christianity, for that matter, says in Ephesians 5, 22, uh, right. 233, I'll read just 22, that wives submit yourselves to your own husbands as you do to the Lord. Right. For the husband is the head of, of the wife as Christ is the head of the church, right. his body of which is the savior. Right. So now when a woman comes and says that my husband has raped me and they ask why, because I didn't want to do it. Then they refer you to this and say, but did you not that know? That scripture is Did out. you not know? No, 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 no. That scripture is out of context. Fantastic scripture. I believe in it. But prior to this, the Bible said, husband, love your wife. Mm -hmm. How? As Christ loved as the Christ church. Loved the so church. the standard for loving a woman is how you know that Christ loves you. And you cannot love a woman that way and she would not submit to you in any way. Mm. And if you genuinely love that woman that way, there's a way to touch her body. There's a way to minister to her mind. There's a way to, to relate with her. Love tells you that she comes first even before you. That's actually what it means. Okay. You see, but, 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 but let's also be very honest to ourselves. There are other people who have also taken advantage of this scripture mm -hmm. and of your thoughts and are punishing men not to have good sexual intercourse in bed. Quite frankly, so. So are you saying that then it's okay if the man Pe forcefully oh, has sex? No, it doesn't well, justify I'm not saying, it. I'm okay. not justifying rape. But right. there are people that have also come with disorders, sexual mental disorders. You have people who tell you that I like makeup sex. You know mm -hmm. what it's called makeup sex? Yeah. yeah. Have After offended you. you. After, yeah. Yeah. And so they will and create something... For and you so the to makeup becomes them. so, 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 so terrible. So some people have disorder and they think it's a type of sex. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you, you're not even treating yourself. I meet people who are going to get married and after shows like this, they come back to me, they want to see you pass through your place. And they come and they are rape victims. They have been sexually molested. But within the counseling, it was not talked about. They say forgive and forget. Yeah. So their sex life has always been aggressive. I mean, I met a lady who was molested with a tough man, a man with huge man. I, I think I said it before, with a pot belly. And she was struggling, struggling in Pesa, ja, 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 and then finally gave in. Usually all rapists finally give in. So finally gave in. Now she associated orgasm. Mm. All right? Arrival in sex to wait. So when people like me lie on her, mm -hmm. unless he means heavy duty, there will be four sides of people. Yeah. Unless he meets them before he will get it. But it is a disorder. But she has grown with it because it was not treated. There are times that the scripture you read, submit yourself. They come back to the same scripture and gave himself up to the church. And exactly. forgave us. Christ forgave us. Yeah. So why will you hold any grudge if you are, your husband is the Christ over you? Yeah. The punishment Kelly said is the problem. Mm. But who will punish? Yeah. My sister, Actually, here in Ghana. The punishment and let me say this to you. Hold on, Kelly. Hold on. Here in Ghana. Yeah. There are churches here. That I'm going to deal with them next year. Name and shame. That they didn't just rape the girls. Some have impregnated the girls and they are even refusing to go and do naming ceremony. And do you know what they do to the, them in the church? They do church discipline. That thing they do. What's, it, what's is church discipline? Oh, you don't know what they call it. Brother, our him, Braha. Or your Biba. Akoda. And he had two nursing. Or back to the community, two so. Wait, what does that mean? Um, bar for it. What? So he won't participate in church activities? He's, if he doesn't come to church, they will extend the discipline. So you come to church, but he sits on the black chair. And when it's time for offering, an usher will collect his offering and come and ask for the money. Scan After everything. raping a woman? Ah, I said they, they, they rape people in the church. And when the people complain about the rape, and they investigate there and they cry, this is the punishment. What kind of punishment? These are the punishment they give to the people. And the funny thing is that usually most of the girls who don't even know what is called rape. So they don't even report until something is wrong with them and they ask it, then they yell. And they both come to the hospital and they refer them to you that they have been raped. Mm. And they tell you straight, say, me, 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 of pastors. Even the idea of trocosy in Ghana is another form of rape. 
Because oh. Trocosi is where they brought you to, um, you know, the chief priest, right? No, but Trocosi can't be raped. Why can't it be raped? Because, because a lot of these girls are sent there, and from what they say, the chief priest forces himself on them. And no. it is not the and will of oh, no, those see, girls. Exactly. It is not so the no. act. It's not the trocosy that as, is producing that. Because you see, the trocosy mentality. Long, uh -huh. If we could have followed the trocosy mentality, we could have stopped all robbers in this country. How? Yes, you see, if you understand what trocosy brought. Trocosy was bring? a simple thing that all of us live here. If your thing is missing, for example, my cap is missing, then I ask. Who has taken my cap? Yeah. They don't respond. Nobody brings it. Then I come to the chief priest, Kelly. My cap is missing. They were announced. I give you three days. Whoever has seen your neutral cap, bring it. If you don't bring it, then the chief priest provides it. Then he looks for the cap. Mm -hmm. When he start looking for the cap and it comes to my home, that somebody pick it from my home, then you, you should give us a servant things. to come and serve mm -hmm. in a shrine mm -hmm. for disrespecting and stealing. Uh -huh. So oh. the act was that it was service they go and render. As for forcing the children to have sex at wrong age and wrong time, that one, I'm not for it. But I'm saying that the trocosy thing, if you understand the, what enacted trocosy properly, like we could have gotten Fine, a but now country. they've taken advantage of it you've, and they are, you've, they're you've, marrying off these girls to the men. Nine years, ten years. And, uh, so and they go and leave you to serve leave the priest. Forever. And he rapes because, you. Because the reason is that you are going to serve forever for stealing. No, but why should I use my why, body why to exactly? pay for your why, sins? Why? That is also rape. Okay. You because see, I that's... don't like it, but you're still doing it to me anyway. So why did you lie in your family? Somebody lied in your family. Are you giving an excuse for why no, Trocosi No, no, so, so No, that's for Trocosi. I'm saying that when you understand it. No, but oh, no, no, there's nothing way, to understand. Oh, well, really, really, way, rape really. is still happening. Rape is happening. That's for the rape part of it. And that's right. another way by which religion is encouraging the rape culture in our society. See, because when you go to the religion, I'm saying that it's because of lack of proper punishment. Lutrot, this thing okay. is not as for okay. the act, my, I'm saying that religion Christian thing alone. is part of it. And, and I'm saying shrines. There are yeah. people who have worked yeah. towards that. They went to a fetish priest. And they got and, raped. And, and they were raped in the name of a shrine speaking. There's a voice saying, Nyang, Nanasi and Kancho say, Wuna Wata, dear. Nadia Yawano. It's your opinion, no shia. And once a woman is not producing estrogen, but it's going through her sort, or G say alien bequana. You know what I'm talking yeah. about. So I'd say that as for the rape thing, if you listen to the basic definition of rape, a lot of people have been raped in several ways. But our reporting system is even an issue. If you are in a church today, but last speaking, I watch mm -hmm. TV three, and a pastor has raped you. Yeah. Who do you report to? Where do you go and report? The what is done? Where? The police. Give me one place. Dofsu is available. Please. And they will take it on. Please. You know. They won't? Please. People have gone to report such incidents. At Dofsu. You see, remember that in, in the laws of the whole world, the law court work with evidence. Mm -hmm. So usually, the only time we can prove rape, although they say the law says the right is there for 20 years, when people deny I've touched you, how do we prove it? If I swap, mm -hmm. what we call the VJ, vagina yeah. swap. Yeah. So if I rape you, Bella, Three, four months. You didn't talk about it. Then six months time you come and do, and they say, me, I can't remember. Proof. Do you have anything to prove? Will the swab detect? You only detect if you go six months later. Other people have chopped. Okay. It anyway, has become ragged cross. So, so quick one, share your away. comments. Oh, 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 so. Share your comments with us. Let us know. I mean, if you are a victim of rape, or if you also think that religion uh, perpetrates the act as well in the country and beyond, let us know what you think about it. If you have any questions for our counselors as well, uh, go ahead and do so at TV3 Ghana or on our WhatsApp pages um, as well. So, so yes, parents are also part of the religious conniving of this rape thing. Mm. Mothers, when your mother sees the pastor as their god, Obina, when you come and tell your mother that pastor, press my breast. Yeah. Hey, I'm gonna have money. Yeah. No, don't buy a mom. You see? So we too be parenting, though if your mother believes in a particular church or a particular minister, then you can be raped forever. But the place of reporting is my problem. Yeah. Dropsu is there, as you said. Yeah. Their police station is there. Effective. Oh, I'm not saying they are ineffective. Mm. But ask them. How many rape cases have they followed to the end? Ask them in I their have, 20th anniversary. I have a big, okay. ask them. I have, All right, let, let I have come a in. big issue with fathers. And I say this from the standpoint of grief. Mm -hmm. Fathers, mm -hmm. 
going into their daughters mm -hmm. from infancy to about how old mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then convincing the daughters that that's how it, sh it should be done. What is it going to? I said, like they sleep they with their daughters. Okay. Uh, oh. Fathers sleeping with their they daughters. Say, mm -hmm. child, the daughter go, speaks to the part. mother. The mother says, shut up. Don't talk like that. What are you saying? Yeah. That's not true. Don't ever let me hear it from your mouth again. And it keeps happening. And the mother knows. Mm -hmm. The mother knows when her husband leaves the bedroom and goes into the daughter's bedroom and makes out with her own daughter, and she's fine. She's, she's not fine. She's, she's well, just well, no. no, no, no. She's not fine. But what keeps her mouth shut for however long makes her feel that keeping her, her mouth shut would keep her fine. But how for how long? The girl is traumatized. The mother is traumatized. The home is shattered. Yet they live under the same roof and they think that all is well. Because there's a culture Mothers, of forgiveness. That culture is demonic. Okay. Culture of forgiveness? Forgiveness does not a road correction yes i forgive you but the penalty of what you have done this is what it attracts so yes i forgive you i have nothing against you but to make sure this doesn't happen again after accepting that you're sorry this is what you have to go through to execute this that and the but other the world will laugh at me if i if i say it look at what happened to what's an ibusola dakolo yes wife. yes well See how as to, a lot of people... As to whether that happened or not, Thanks. my point is that, let's even assume it happened. How far did the law go? The law exonerated him. The law exonerated him. Who investigated? I mean, was there a cross-session of... Because the pastor had links with top officials. And so they so, were even trying to move the case from what? From one state to another because then it would have been easier for him to win... The case in that state. So my point is, what did the church do? Forget about the law. Most if of the, the church members were hailing their pastor and saying he's no, a man I, of God. No, when I say the church, I don't do mean that. the church where he pastors. I mean the body the, of the Christ body of entirely. Christ. Mm. What did authorities say, and how did they say what they said? You see, well, what, that what is, was in, Psalm uh, what, what was applied? Psalm 105 verse 15 says, oh, "Touch not oh, my quotes. anointed; uh -huh. do my prophets oh. no uh -huh. harm." An anointed okay. person is a person Psalm who Psalm 105 verse 15. No, you read verse 15. So you always read from verse 15. Lutrot, I'm coming. Oh. And see what enacted do no harm to my prophet. A, an anointed when a prophet person has erected mm. and is chewing the thing in the wrong direction. And you say, touch my panel of your. No, but kuchu. that's what people live by. Hey, so, so, how do we are so the organ there of my anointed? Mm. There there are we should teach the girls to be violent too. If you don't speak up and early, that's another thing I need to say. If you experience rape and you wait to talk about it two years, six months, nine months later, um, you, you're saying what you're saying to get it off your chest, but we can't exactly fight that battle for you mm. because there's actually almost no evidence if there wasn't, a, I mean, a concrete evidence to show. Yeah. If, if the person did it, I mean, to you in private or something. So speak early i know it's hard to you speak see, it's, it's not hard about speaking early Kelly. no 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 let me tell you what i'm saying early, no, it's not hard for no, you no, i'm telling you i know it's about. hard not to speak no, early but no that's not the issue mm -hmm. the thing is what's that, the issue how do we raise the daughters to understand that this is a rape how this do we raise the men to understand that not this to take is rape too. thank you so women. i'm saying that how no you see how do we raise the girl child to understand this is rape mm -hmm. that's the problem because some people don't even think this is rape. They think this is sex. Yeah. So Because we have been silent on the act of sex. We have made the world we are living in, especially in this part of our world, grow to discover what sex is. Mm. We don't have time to tell anybody this is what sex is. I remember me as a male when I was growing, when I, I grew to a steady stage, the only time I remember the first time my father was talking to me about sex was that. You. You see there's water coming out of your male organ. If you impregnate anybody's daughter, you go and live in their house. The education that ministry is... wanted to introduce CSE, and then the church spoke because against it. Because they went about it wrongly. Hold on. The church spoke against it. They, spoke, they on. came let's, about let's, it wrongly. Let's, let's crystal the president messages. ended the thing in the church, but the church didn't Let's speak. crystal. Read yes, we have messages. some messages coming through. Rape is, is certainly a wrong thing. Hello, my name is Obasui Igaro. I just want to let you know that rape is rape, whether a pastor or other persons.
Uh, the problem is how can we men manage our desire? Can you people also help us manage it? That's from Jed. Uh, maybe you should know that. We shouldn't also forget the fact that some women also rape men. Um, that's from... W.O. Okay, W.O. Police Reserve in Tadi. Hi, New Day. My name is Elik Plim from Kweje from the Volta region. I'm in love with your discussion. I think it's time the society gets some education. We love you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Hi, TV3. This is Elizabeth Anto from Kumasi. Keep it up. Thank you for your good work. Bye. All right. Okay. <laughs> good. good morning. Please read the scripture for me, Bella. Nevertheless, I avoid fornication. Let every man have his own wife, and let every woman have her own husband. Let the husband render unto the wife due benevolence, and likewise also the wife unto the husband. The wife hath not power of her own body, but the husband. And likewise also, the husband hath not power of his own body, but the wife. That's from 1 Corinthians 7, 2 to 4. Mm. I think you'd want to argue that bit out. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. these things are taken out of context. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. I think this kind of pastor um, is very much, these kind of pastors are very much in Ghana. I tell you, the world is ending soon. Hmm. Counselor laughs. I just love you. You've been clear today. It will rain. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm even shocked myself. <laughs> You know? <laughs> you know? Okay. <laughs> oh, what do you mean? Oh, no, oh, no, let Crystal finish. Let Crystal finish. Good morning. Please, I love this program so much. I'm James from East Lagon. How is it possible for a man to rape his wife? That's not, that's not done... Um, beside, that's not done. Beside, as for a pastor, I don't know what to say about that. Thank, thanks, please. Hello, Bella. I want to be sure the other guy really said that there's no way a man will love a woman and describe in that, as described, as described yeah. in the, uh, the Ephesians verse, he quoted, and the lady will not submit to the man. If yes, then I want quoted. Uh, I want to quote something from Kwame Sefakai. Um, I can't read this. <laughs> Okay, literally means what? if you give birth <laughs> to a good child, you lament that you have good parenting skills. Okay. I see. There must be discipline for wrongdoing, but the church does not apply punishment, but as well makes sure the necessary things must be done. Mm. Okay, and uh, we have a few in coming as in as well. Yeah. In as much as I agree with you that, that some pastors do these things, my problem is whenever such issues as rape come up, why do you always limit it to the church? Or are you saying other religions such as uh, some imam don't do things? No, we uh, didn't limit it Please don't always limit it to the church. You know, you didn't. You we, know, we went traditional with that as well. And, you know? yeah. and the fetish priest, their own is a spiritual direction. Mm -hmm. Right, oh, that's, oh, that's, oh. that's the way they describe it, eh? <laughs> All right. And Hi, good morning. This rape issue is rare. Was once... Uh, uh, staying with a pastor, which I called Daddy. As hey, I with him. Why did you call him Daddy? <laughs> As I stayed with him for six months, he started entering my room for pray prayers, which Whoa. I thought I thought is normal until one day he started messaging me, massaging me in a room, and it ended into sex. He has been doing it for two two ah, years. Whoa. And he's still doing it. Daddy. Wow. Daddy. Uh, wait. Only two years. This is, no, but in this case, respect can we, also, can we no, say it's two years. wait? Wait, He's been doing case, it continuously for two years. To, oh, it's, 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 no, no, it's never become consensual, but it no, began as rape. as rape. How did it begin no, as rape? There's no rape here. No, listen. No, no, no. We this is consensual someone, sexual no, no, intercourse. It is consensual, yes. Where's the rape? I, I, I admitted it. Where's but the rape? I, do you know that rape begins from the mind? That one I don't know. I said this is no rape. I said that it starts from the mind. Me. Rape I, begins okay, from okay. the mind. So this, in this one case, is not rape. As wait, long as you violate my mind, you're beginning to rape me. This is not rape. Hold on. So this person here has told us her story. Yes. If this should go to the court of law, how yes. do we argue it out? That it's this not is rape. It is consensual. So what's I'm rape? telling you that the foundation was rape. My brother, stop saying foundation. Where Did is the rape? Um, no, no, no. I Hold come on. to your room for prayer. Uh-huh. Watch it. Yes. Hold on, my brother. Okay. I come to your room. What's on it? Yeah. And Bible. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> hey, yo, 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 yo. Oh, oh, that's not how okay, you yeah, pray. Yeah, yeah. Whichever way. I pray this one for you. Then the next time. I'm hitting your breast, not your Take chest. It easy, it's demonstration. <laughs> oh, oh, what, what demonstration? Okay, counselor, make so your point. Guy. You hit my <laughs> nipple him. like this. What did you see? Uh, says the massage, man not is, hit. The he man said, is not a massager. He has gotten to a stand where the thing has left prayer. To pono. Is that not rape? It on a near the pono. Then you either stop the pono. But you consensually went to Pono. She says I was living with him, so maybe you she know? was scared. Hello. Exactly. Wait. So you are paying your rent. She, that what if she says you are paying your rent for all no, of you this? You are paying your rent. Oh. You are paying your this rent. This is consensual. Sexually. We agree. 
But you are paying it your rent emanated sexually. from a rape situation which the Bella, woman couldn't speak about. There are so many stories in this country. This is a, wo this is a Bella, man she if you, one, one, one person at a time. Bella, if you. you follow Kelly as a pastor, he's a pastor. If you follow him and he goes to have sex with you in the hotels in Accra and you come and report you are a fool. What if I, the I, church. I can follow him, but if I say no, he should raise. Oh, you no, that's for saying no, dear. You know, I mean, don't follow him. Let him follow you. No, what no, I'm saying we that, won't follow each other. No, but would the law argue on, on my behalf? Because fine, I followed you Where? to the hotel. Wait, I followed you to the but hotel. But at some point, I but said stop. But when you started, I said stop. And you hello, said, hello, that's hello. Rape. What proves your stop? Ask for the stop, you boy. Because you see, soon, someone, soon, stop. Quiet. Oh, you what? What the fire, Kuni Yeli? Yeah, you know fire. but I said no. It was fire, Anyway, so, it was so I have a minute left. You see, what what do we do about this issue and about religion and how it encourages rape in action. our society? Action, take action for the sanctioning. Take action. For, let's Who not just talk action? about everybody from. Uh, the, well, the Bible says that, that, that the judgment should start from the church. So let's start from our religious bodies or our faith, but whatever we believe in, and These then people, uh -huh. apply tangible sanctions where these things are stated as wrong okay let's let's stop so we apply the law. Uh, yes w w whichever law ap applies to your your but your pastor says oh let it go because maybe someone raped you in society when we let pastor it go says, what forgive. was further done to the person no, who let did... it go means nothing is happening no it's was wrong. expelled from the church it's wrong the person was expelled Expelling from the doesn't doesn't cure what has happened. Expel the person from the church and and, and then So the law it. should work. No, okay. the law should work. Councillor, five seconds. Within five seconds, orgasm conference is coming up on oh, 25th oh, December. Oh, oh, I asked for solutions. Seconds. Solution is in, in okay. orgasm conference. Go ahead. 25th December at the trade fair. A new day you've been go to us, so um, we're bringing you a lot of tickets to disperse and give to those who are right. But you see, Bella, in this conversation, 25th December, trade fair, when I drop number, you can call me for further discussion. But what is the solution? Simple solution. One second. Once you are raped, it is not a church thing. Mm -hmm. Somebody has violated your religious, godly given rights sexually. And has really, there's a law in the country that you have been sexually assaulted. Go to the right authorities. But there are times that people come to you too late. Because mm -hmm. the law works with evidence. Mm -hmm. Evidence. So once somebody forcefully has sex with you, we should be careful. But Bella, my fear is that there was uh, the GGA president. Is that the name? Was it GB something there? Ghana, Ghana Bar Association. Bar yes. Association there was a lady yeah. that 20 years said that she was raped. You remember that thing? Mm. There's another part of it. That if you don't but take she care. Came, she did a U-turn after a while. There's another part of it. Okay. That if you also don't take care. People will go and malign and lie against us that we have raped them, whilst we have not. Okay. So I'm saying that, let parents know what rape is. All right. Let the young girl know what rape is. But men who are raping, may I give you information? Sexual intercourse is not too affordable in Ghana. Stop I, the I, rape. I, I, no. After. Stop the rape, but don't say that sexual intercourse is affordable. Well, I'm, I'm telling you, it's now too affordable. Okay. Because they are raping. So we go. 20 They'll Ghana, 50 me. Ghana, 5 Ghana cities, 0277. <clears throat> no, no, Tower. 609, over your pay, 609-644-0277-609644. For you to rape, okay, five cities, are you? Nana says that counselor can't talk without shouting. Hey, Bella, you are suffering. I really am suffering. <laughs> so on that note, I am social media handles, for, so we go. So, so, okay, social media handles. Kelly Daniels' office on Instagram. Kelly Daniels' office. For counseling and all of that, I am on 0, uh, 055 Three one three five zero seven four, and that's for people who want to be on the WhatsApp group for counseling sessions. Uh, on um, tomorrow, I'm having a conference at four p.m. I'll tell you much more about it on when you message media. me. But on Instagram, I am Kelly Daniel's office. Okay. Let's do counseling. All right, that's it for Heart Bay, and 